Hi Hayden! This video is a, um, a little additional thing for the, uh, the journey in the Arctic. A uh, journey in the Arctic. Um, I think, yes, I, I, I think we talked about the metronome 96, but um, I'm, you know, as I wrote in the... Oh, I, did I send you? Yeah, I am, I think a, a faster tempo is better. So I chose 112. And at 112, I would like you to practice just one hand at a time um, so that you get used to matching the metronome. So the right hand goes. hand at 112 and you definitely want to be able to play exactly with a metronome beginning to the end because um, if you really couldn't play with a metronome beginning to the end one hand it's not going to work out so well once you have both hands together um, when you play play both hands I don't need you to per first practice with a metronome but I would like you to learn how to do it it's 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 hard to play two hands right hand and the left hand doing their own important you know parts and at the same time listen to the metronome and match your playing both your both your hands to that but it's a necessary skill and um and and, and it's important to get some practice this is probably not the most easy piece to play with the metronome but it's um if you were to play this in a recital i would absolutely need you to practice to be able to play with the metronome both hands and we will work on other things um yeah playing with a metronome on a piece should all you know by by practicing it should become easy enough for you to do so anyway so i will now do the left hand um, again, left hand alone, you will practice met with the metronome at 112. One, two, ready, go.
that's your left hand. So that's, um, do practice one hand at a time, metronome 112, until you just can nail it. I think when, when, um, the time that you're, you can say, okay, I got it, is if, literally, if you can play from the beginning to the end with no mistake at all. Um, everything accurate and, um, and no hesitation at the, um, at the transitions. Um, the transitions, you actually only have a quarter rest between like the first theme and the second theme. And then afterwards, at the end of the second theme, back to the first theme, you really have only one quarter rest to transition back to the original position. So be able to do that. Oh, and, and of course, before the coda, your left hand and right hand will have to, you know, readjust its positions in one quarter rest time. Um, so practice that. And when you can do that, ideally, you will be able to play the whole thing. 120, I will play with the metronome. One, two, ready, go. If this were to be a recital piece, I think 112 both hand is going to be like the minimum tempo that you would want to play at. But still, even if you could play fast, it is absolutely necessary at this time for you to be able to play even both hands with the metronome. Um, during the you know Zoom lesson or the FaceTime lesson last time, you had the metronome going on the background, and I noticed that you you were just completely off the metronome, which means that um, you were focusing so much on your playing, you were not focusing on matching the beats to the metronome. Um, in fact, you were faster, so you probably were more um, like uh, you know I, I guess you were rushing ahead. Um, or, well, I, I thought about two things. Is it because you were rushing ahead or is it because you find it really hard to match the beat? Like, you know, when you have the metronome tick, 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 tick. Um, and, you know, those are two separate things. You know, um, if it's just, um, if it's just rushing ahead, it's, well, actually, I actually don't know. Um, I do I do know that you have a tendency to like regardless of what the tempo is even if we made it slower or even if we made it faster you have a tendency to still play faster than the metronome and it, it basically getting off the metronome and the met metronome is just making noise in the background and you're not with the metronome beats at all and most of the time you're faster than the metronome beat um, I've seen a lot of students who fall behind because it's just too fast for them and um, they're, you know, they, instead of rushing forward, they tend to be slower than the metronome. That's actually more common. So I do have a feeling that you're just not used to playing with a metronome. So in order to get over that, um, that, um, that, that, you know, that, that part, I really want you to practice metronome one hand. And the, and the aim is to just be with the metronome all the time. 
You have to listen to the metronome beat. That is what you're matching to. The metronome will not match with you. You have to match the metronome. Um, it's sort of similar to playing in a band. There are some kids who, you know, seem to you know, not be able to, you know, play, listen to what's around them and match up with what they are, you know, and, and you know, to be part of the bigger group. It's sort of similar to that. So yes, this week, metronome and one hand at a time, 112 for each hand. Okay, All right, bye.